good or she is also good i am best and she and he is also best i have to score full eleven and he and she also should be full eleven sometimes our parents might feel what are the scores of your friends they might be asking what are the scores of your friends and if they, the scores of your friends are reduced or less than you they will be happy some some parents but that is not the right habit or that is not the right attitude i mean This is the right attitude. I should be my friend also should be. I also should achieve my dream, and my friend also should achieve his or her dreams. Thank you for everything, and she felt like really happy. 
you know, she like I appreciated her for all the hard work she did and all the time she took out for me, my family. She just was really happy. I could see it on her face. So this was my experience. So thank you once again. Everybody. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Yes. When I reached home, my mother told me that you are fully wet. Go change your clothes quickly, otherwise you will get a fever. But I just ran to her and hugged her and saying I love you so much, so so much. She, uh, she said, did you get a fever? Like she looked at me with a very skeptical look, very doubtful look. You get a fever? I said no, I didn't get any fever. I just really wanted to hug you this uh, today. And my father was sitting right in front of me. He was watching like very happily, and I hugged him too. He said, "Like really, is it you really today, or is it just your do Ripley, uh, doppelganger? Are you really today right now? What's happened to you today?" So, so I said, "No, I just really love you so much, and I have a little sister, across like three year old. She um, she can't like really talk. She don't have really much mind. So she also came and read my father and mother." And my mother said, look, she's imitating you. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. And she smiled very cutely towards me. And she told that instead of doing this, you give your more focus on your studies. Sir, I want to tell you that we got papers day after yesterday. So the environment at everybody's house will be some most different. Studying because in, uh, till 1 o'clock I was studying. And night I realized that when I told my mama that he is a superhero for me, he was waking for me till 2 o'clock at the time when I was studying. He sat beside me when I was studying on my study table, he told me, you need practice for maths, you practice on him, you focus. If your focus will be better, you will get the better marks. And sir, I am really happy for that. You have changed the environment of my house. Very thank you. Thank you.
Because you all are. You all are. So one one last time we are going to say this. I am I. You are you. I am not you. You are not me. I am unique. You are also unique. And we all are. We all are. And ask fair to inspire. Ask fair to inspire. Ask fair to inspire. And hero is greater than. Hero is greater than. Nothing is more beautiful than to find someone who cares for you and finds ways to see you grow. All thanks to Sister Nitya, Reverend Principal, for finding out two gems to be shared at Mount Carmel Convent High School, Jit George and Christine Manuel, who brought out the innate powers of our students. Christine Manuel and Jit George, both being the stars of the day, Jit George, I can never find out a person who can be such a wonderful orator. At the same time, he was a marvelous singer. They all moved to 600 and more students, bringing out every student and touching the hearts of every student. He thought and he brought them all closer to the dais. He made them sing. He made them speak. He made them come out of all the past that they had. The session led by Jit George and Christine Manuel brought the building blocks of the children. He made them to understand that they are the heroes rather than being the winner. He brought out the dragon warriors from them. The session was made to realize the students that they have to believe in their innate powers. They have to believe that it should never be given up. And hence, the session led by them was focused on emotional and spiritual upbringing and strengths. He taught them to realize that we should be thankful for all the blessings that we have in our life. That we should be awaiting that God is really, really very, very good. Thank you. The Life Guidance Seminar at Mount Carmel Convent High School was nothing short of transformative. The resource person, Jit George and Christine Manuel captivated our students with an inspiring blend of wisdom, practical strategies and energizing interactions that truly ignited the spirit of self-discovery. The two-day memorabilia empowered our students to believe in the potential to take bold and concrete steps towards their dreams. Thankful for redirecting our students for shaping the future minds of our school. A grateful morning to everyone. Today, the students of class 10 stand here to express our gratitude and learnings from the two-day seminar held by One Step International Academy in our school. The dignitaries were Mr. Jit George, who is a life coach and a great singer. He was accompanied by Mr. Christine Manuel, who is a wonderful musician. In the beginning, the children were divided into six groups, having one leader and a unique action to introduce unity and leadership among students. The session of day one started with the idea of having a deep desire. Mr. Jit George told us the importance of deep desire. He said that with deep desire, you are more likely to bounce back from setbacks and continue working towards your goal. The resilience is essential because there are bound to be challenges along the way. The seminar was not just a one-way feeding. He asked the students to come up and speak 
in front of everyone, ensuring that students volunteer and leave aside the fear of making mistake. Mr. George kept on motivating the students to come up. The second session started with students guessing the songs and singing them which filled the atmosphere with joy. The main emphasis of the session was to initiate the first step. This step felt very hard to take, but as the students were motivated to do so, it became a lot easier. Many of them who came and spoke up had never even held a mic. The session ended with all of us thank thanking the Lord, our Creator, and our parents who work very hard just so that we can stay happy. The seminar held on day two was also wonderful. The session started with excitement and cheer. On the last day, he told us about the final steps to achieve success, that is emotional and spiritual intelligence. We came to know about the importance of being a hero over a winner and unleashing the dragon warrior within ourselves. Life is full of unexpected events. Nobody knows what would happen to them in the near future. This session also focused on the importance of living in the present. He also told us about the story of his close friend Ajna George, who was a cancer patient. She unfortunately lost her battle with cancer, but her life was very inspiring. She taught us to be thankful to each and everything that happens, whether big or small. We should look at life with a positive perspective and be an optimistic person. Rather than thinking about the future, we all should enjoy the present. We should create memories that we would cherish forever. Such memories result in a happy and a satisfied life. As a wise person once told, a life without movements is one without people. Thank you, Arna. I totally agree you both have said. The seminar was really a turning point in the lives of many students. I really want to thank Principal Sister Nitya for arranging such a wonderful seminar for us. I bet she knew that many students were going through tough times and needed this seminar. I want to appreciate Sir Jit George and Sir Christine Manuel's efforts and the time that they gave us from their busy schedule. At the end of the two-day session, I realized a major thing. I was the leader of group number one. We lost the game. But it doesn't matter, as games are not about winning or losing. They are about having fun and making memories together. And we successfully did that. I am not sad that my group has lost, but I am happy that my juniors won. At the end, I would like to conclude that our opponents are not our enemies. This report was read before you by Utkarsh Nikumbe, Arnav Sondavle and Nawaz Sheikh from grade 10th. Thank you.